He's a renowned musician uh, from Quebec, and uh, this is his uh, debut on the big screen, and uh, uh, he does an amazing job. Please welcome uh, musician and now actor Kevin Parent. What can you tell me? How did uh, Jean-Marc Vallée uh, find you and 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 ask you to be part of this film because this is your first acting role? I mean, you're you're well known as a musician, but uh, you never acted in film before. Thanks for uh, underlining that. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it was it was a standard audition process, and uh, it was he just wanted. He auditioned several musicians, uh, and that's it. He was he look was he looking for musicians? Because uh, Vanessa was Paradis was also is also a, a musician. Uh, yeah, who's, who's she's acting for? But was that sort of was he looking for some a parallel in that respect for those two characters? I don't think so. I think that the 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 DJ guy he wanted somebody that had a quasi stage presence. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's just uh, a great opportunity for me to, uh, to, uh, to dive into something new and uh, it, it's really a great experience. So the question was, was this taken, was this adapted from a book? What's, where's the origins of the story? No, the original, uh, the spark of the movie was a song called Café de Flore from Matthew Hebert, uh, or Dr. Rocket, which was the theme song that uh, was initially uh, um, a techno song that he, they, uh, he, Matthew Hebert was approached to do a, a jazz version in, a, in an old kind of Parisian type version of the song. And uh, that was the link between Laurent, the, the young boy who loved and was completely compelled by the song and asked his mother over and over, Café Maman, Café Maman. He wanted Café de Flore. And jumping back to the, the contemporary Montreal guy who was obsessed with the song also. Can you answer, so the question is about, can you answer the choice that uh, Jean-Marc Valli made about the, having the, the young boy and, and the girl have Down syndrome, what was... For certain know? personal reasons, I think he chose that. I cannot, I cannot speak in, in his name, but uh, for certain personal reasons, he did have a certain uh, desire to... He has an attachment for some reason to the Down syndrome children, and uh, he wanted to express the beauty and the pure core emotion that these characters could deliver on on screen. Uh, over the side, yes. How, uh, how did you prepare for a role so complicated? Because you don't really just get to play your own character, you really have to echo all the interrelated plots. I mean, did you know the whole script? Did you know the acting choices of the other characters? Totally. That and a lot of training, treadmill, and just <laughs> mantras of listening to the music very closely. And it was just, it was just diving in. And I, and I love the script, honestly. Jamak done his own editing, he, he done his own thing, but the script was, was, was very, very touching. So it, it was, it was easy for me to just dive into the project and, and, and forget about my own life and just become this character. Wait, one last thing right here, yes. If we're gonna end, I just have to say one thing. I wanna make a comment. That film rocked my world, thank you. Absolutely. That film rocked her world. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.